but their planetary tour was just the first act. Once their primary mission ended in 1989 after the Neptune flyby, the Voyagers just kept going, beginning the Voyager interstellar mission. Powered by their radioisotope thermoelectric generators, they traveled onward toward the boundary of our solar system. That boundary is the heliopause, the edge of the vast magnetic bubble our sun creates called the heliosphere. In August 2012, Voyager 1 finally crossed that boundary at a distance of 121 astronomical units, or 11 billion miles from the sun. The moment was confirmed by Don Gurnett and his team at the University of Iowa when the Plasma Wave System instrument detected the vibration of dense interstellar plasma, a 40-fold increase in density that sounded like a sudden tone in the data. It was the sound of leaving home. Voyager 2, which took a different route past Uranus and Neptune followed in November 2018, crossing at a different point in our solar bubble and giving us a second, crucial data point. Right now, Voyager 1 is over 15 billion miles away, hurtling along at 38,000 miles per hour. This was a monumental achievement, marking the first time a human-made object had physically entered the space between the stars, our first tangible step into the larger galaxy, 